One of the things that every designer needs are good fonts for your projects. These are 15 Google fonts that are completely free that equate to 200 different variations with endless possibilities. It might be a controversial opinion, but these are the only fonts that you actually need to get every single one of your projects done. All right, let's take a look at a couple of my favorite Google fonts. Each one of these fonts, the link will be down in the description. You should absolutely download each and every one of them because they're fabulous, starting with Noto Sans Mono. Noto Sans is very typewriter-esque form. It's monospace, sans serif. It's a great font choice. You can see some of the characters here, lots of different symbols, Latin, Greek, so on and so forth, and lots of different weights moving from thin all the way up to black 900. Um, and as we typeset it, it's just it's just beautiful. It's just a really, really smooth font you can use for technology or to bring in some of that old typewriter-esque vibe. Next up, you have Space Mono. Uh, its letter forms combine some geometric foundation with some of those kind of grotesque details. Uh, and it kind of has this little bit of a spirit of 1960s inside of it, kind of newspaper headline style. It has those old style figures, superscript, subscript, numerals, as well as multiple stylistic alternatives. You can see as we scroll down here, it's great in body copy, great for headlines. And if we move over to the type tester, um, it just kind of looks great at all sizes and it brings in a little bit of that fun character. Next up, you have Cormont. It's a display type family that's uh, developed by Christian Thalman. It's inspired from famous typography designs, and uh, it has a lot of different things going on. It's obviously a light serif. It's not super heavy on its serifs, but it is stylish. Lots of weights moving from 100, that's light, all the way up to bold 700. And it, it it's you know, a pretty good selection if you want to bring a little bit of class, a little bit of style into your project. We can head over to the type tester. You can see how beautiful it looks at all different weights here, thin, thick, it just kind of works and it brings in that class. Next up, we have Work Sans, another sans serif font, and this one is based loosely on early grotesque typography. It can be used in print design and web design, but this one from Google Fonts has been optimized for the screen resolutions that you're gonna be using as you design. Uh, and thin looks beautiful all the way up to thick. Everything has um, an italic version of it, and this black version is absolutely lights out. It's super strong with a lot of style in it. You can see all the different variations happening great for body copy also great for headlines and when we go to the type tester you can kind of see how we might do like thick there and maybe a little bit thinner here the whole thing just comes together it looks really clean and modern while having just a little bit of that stylistic touch Allegrea is a multi award winning font uh, and it has been initially introduced for literature but now it has all of these optimizations in Google fonts so that you can use it in your digital projects you probably have it installed already but if you don't you should go out and get it it has has these subtle references to calligraphy inside of it. You can kind of see in some of these portions on the descenders and a few on the ascenders as well. Um, it's a super family as well. That means there's a serif and a sans serif version. Definitely jump on Elegrea. It's a fantastic and beautiful serif font with lots of different variation. Next up, we have Archivo Nero. This is a really strong kind of prominent font. It's best used for highlights and headlines, and it's reminiscent of kind of early 19th century American typefaces. It's strong, it's a little bit blocky. Archivo Nero is a variable typeface. In Google Fonts, we can kind of drag this slider up and we get all sorts of stops in between 400 and 700. You can stop at any particular place, but our next one, which is Anonymous Pro, is a fixed width style, so you can choose only the options they have there for either bold 700, regular 400. Anonymous Pro, it gives this character and a lot of the number characters are very distinguishable from another, like zero and O and I and L. They have distinct shapes so that you know you're not messing up and choosing something. It's a much more legible alternative to something like Monaco. It has that fixed width Macintosh style, old school font, which I just really love. You can see it in here. It just looks really, really cool. And I think could be fun in a lot of websites and mobile applications. Sora is another great option for web and app interfaces. It has these really large X heights and it takes its cue from low resolution aesthetics and early screen typography. It has some really fun curvatures and accents and embellishments in some of the characters. And it has a good amount of weights inside of the family. And as we use the type setter, you can see it really works at a lot of different sizes. It pairs well together, especially if you wanna use 
just one font or one piece of typography and play with the weights, this would be a good one to try. Inter is very popular for mobile and web applications. It is a very friendly, very easy to use font um, and it is a variable font face. So you can get all sorts of different stops on those widths here. It's just beautiful and it just feels like very rock solid, something you'd really want to use in a lot of projects. When you're falling back on a choice few, this would probably be in my top five list. Rubik is another one of those all-arounders, general, friendly, welcoming, sans serif fonts. I have yet to use this one in a project, but I'm really excited to. It has a large weight distribution, different variations of weight, and it has these rounded corners and this really low stroke contrast, so you can get a lot of different variations and results when you play with the characters and the different weights and different sizes. Virus Sans was originally developed by Mozilla's Firefox operating system, so it's very modern, it's very much for tech interfaces and digital interfaces uh, and it really covers legibility well it's just very very easy to read and skim over if you have a lot of content for me this would be a great choice just because of the readability of it the legibility of it it's just super smooth at scale so i just can't say enough about fire sands you should definitely get this one Open Sans is another one of those fallbacks, definitely top three for me if you're going to do website or especially mobile applications. Open Sans has this way of being friendly, but still has a lot of structure. It's very upright um, and it has this kind of like open form and neutrality to it. It's really, really beautiful. And again, great, great, great for mobile applications. If you haven't used Open Sans in one of your projects, you definitely should. Lotto is another sans serif family, definitely top five on my list. It has these semi-rounded kind of details and it gives Lotto this kind of warm feeling. It has a vast array of widths, lots to play with here, lots to do. Another one of those fonts that you can use. You don't have to pair it at all. You can just pair it with itself. It looks beautiful in websites, applications, software, you name it, you can use Lotto for it. Let's go back to the serif fonts. This time we have old standard. It's kind of a modern style of serif typefaces and it's a great choice if you want to typeset body copy with a serif font. This one, although it does look very, very classic because of the serifs, it also has that modern vibe. So you could actually use this very commonly for a website, a blog, and maybe even some applications if you want to do something a bit fun, classy, and different. It actually works great in large amounts of text. Last up to round out the list, we have Volcorn, which is another really interesting serif font. It's modern, but also classic at the same time. And it has these very dark and pronounced serifs with a little bit of bounce and healthiness and warmth to it. I probably wouldn't use it in the highest weights like 900 and 800. It starts to look a little bit chunky, a little bit illegible. I also probably wouldn't use this for body copy. It gets a little bit hard to read, but this would make a great headline, sub headline, where you could pair it with something else like Open Sans. What'd you think about all those free Google fonts? Let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions and check the description for links to every font that we talked about today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you know when more videos like this one come out. Hope you're having an amazing week. Hope you're designing amazing things, making amazing things and choosing amazing fonts for your projects. See you in the next one.